Hey YouTube, Mick here. I um, just want to show you and do another review on my day hike bag or an overnight bag. Um, you know, it doubles as a, di hike, di um, a day hike bag or an overnight or even a two-nighter. It just depends, you know. Obviously an overnighter, I'll strap a uh, tent and a bedroll under here and that would be my main shelter for an overnighter or, or a two-nighter. But if I don't have a uh, bedroll and a tent there, um, it still can turn into an overnighter, just a little bit more uncomfy overnighter. So anyway, so the bag itself is a 511 Rush 12 pack. Um, I like 511 products. Um, they're strong, they're durable, YKK zippers, Molly compatible. Um, I just love it and I like it especially because I can go to a local 511 um, shop, retail shop and look at the gear, touch it, feel it, wear it and see if it feels comfy and buy it instead of buying things online where you can't really touch and feel it and wear it and you know you don't know exactly how it's going to be. So 511 is my preferred product at the moment and um, because of those reasons. So drop pouch. I think this is the medium or the large drop pouch, I can't remember, but enough room there to uh, put extra food if you require, or um, take it off and you know, collect wild edibles. A water, a water pouch here for my uh, Stanley stainless steel cup, and um, my stainless steel cup here. And I've got a, a rag in there just to keep the bottle from, uh, you know, making noise. So it fits in there. And uh, goes in there pretty much perfectly. <clears throat> I actually do prefer the Maxpedition pouch because it's got that extra pocket. But, oh well, I like this one so it doesn't matter. Okay, so that's that. <coughs> Alright, starting on the inside on the um, outside pouch here. Okay, it opens up like that. Um, I've got a paracord bracelet, which obviously would be on my wrist when I go out. I've got a uh, little, nice little bit of uh, beeswax here. I've got my fire kit here, which matches uh, ferro rod. Um, you know, cotton wool balls soaked in vaso, cotton wool balls soaked in wax. You know, enough gear, to, enough stuff to make a fire there. A little quick emergency uh, first aid kit, which includes um, water purification tablets, a uh, a big marker, a lead pencil. Um, it's a little simple sharpening system there. Um, just a backup knife being a buck. I uh, don't know what number but it's a nice little knife. Um, some zip ties, a courier satchel, a uh, emergency blanket which needs to be replaced because it is a bit ripped. Of toilet paper and some wet ones. Okay, so a bit of hygiene there and some extra tinder in the zipper here. I've got some uh, Bushman, which I recommend. Bushman Tropical Strength, excellent stuff. The flies will not come near you or the uh, mosquitoes. A spare pair of reading glasses because I can't read without them. I read large writing, but I can't read small writing. Um, just a bit of a uh, you know, char cloth tin with some uh, cloth in there. Um, this is a homemade candle I've made, which if you've seen my videos, you've seen it. Out of a shoebox tin. It's just uh, this wick, and I've put, just poured wax all over it. So I haven't tested the bird time on it, but I'm sure it's going to last quite a while. And just a kind of like a bit of a file there or 
stone to uh, sharpen up an axe and this and that. So, uh, so that's all that's in this front pocket here. I'm trying to keep it simple. Yeah, the kiss factor, keep it simple, stupid. That's what I like. And keep it as lightweight as I can. So that's that pocket there. Then it has another pocket here. <coughs> I just carry a ball of, of string. It's just another, you know, another cordage. I keep my uh, fire lighter. I think it's it called. It's a Pathfinder fire still. Light my fire, whatever it's called. I don't know. Um, you know, great bit of kit. You know, that's off. Great sparks. Love it. Got my tinder in there. Got some duct tape. Got a uh, Swiss Army knife and a whistle. It's kind of like a little. Survival kit in itself. I've got a mirror which I stole from my wife um, for signalling. It's got two mirrors there, also for looking at any wounds on your face if you cop that. I've got a lighter, I've got two two light candles, and it's actually, I think it's a skitter repellent too, and a box of matches. So, kind of like my fire kit slash. Signaling kit slash survival little kit there. So fits nice in that pocket. On the top here, there's another little pocket compartment. I carry my compass. I carry a little uh, two-way UHF radio. Um, I think this has been upgraded to 80 channel. <coughs> if it starts, I think the batteries are running out. Well, actually, you know what? I've got the batteries put around the wrong way. So it doesn't waste the battery life, but anyway, um, yeah, two-way radio there. Some scoot, it's another mozzie repellent, a whistle, and a, a light. Um, some eye wash and just some needle and thread. It's just there, just you know, just in case I need it, and, uh, and yeah. <coughs> Actually, I need to add some more batteries to this pack. There's no batteries. All right, in the main compartment, <coughs> open up all that. In this section here, I've got my hygiene kit. You know, just in case for an overnighter or two nighter. Um, and it's just got a towel, razor blades, chapstick, earbuds. Toothpaste, toothbrush, soap, and some other towels. So, you know, a bit of a hygiene kit, you know. It's always good to just freshen up, I guess, out there. In this section here, I have my buck saw. Great friggin' saw, I highly guarantee it. Um, yeah, a great saw. It does excellent work, very strong too. Um, in here I've got a whetstone, um, snake bite wrap slash emergency medical wrap, bandana, duct tape and a water filter being the life straw. Okay so I've got a few things covered just in that pocket alone. My Dave Canterbury inspired fishing kit is right there. A leather belt for stropping. If I'm not wearing a leather belt, which I usually don't actually, I wear like a this 511, not this 511, but this fabric belt anyway. Um, one of these twist and stay things. Um, I did a video on those. They're, they're pretty handy actually, so I'll keep that in there. Um, some paracord, I don't know how long that is, but it's got to be at least 50 to 100 feet. Um, some netting, uh, it can be used for, you know, make an improvised yabby trap or fish trap. And some high-vis pink kind of builders string there. 
why do I have five years pink? I don't know. I just might want to put that up in case I don't want to run into uh, all the string that's keeping up my tarp or whatever. And then obviously I've got my uh, my cooking my cooking thing. Um, it's my dual two pot system. Um, I've done a video on this. It comes apart in this section here. I've got my my handle, my olive oil, and some herbs. In here, I've got some cup of soup, some wire, um, some more soup, some um, some coffee, and a rag, and some other bits and pieces. So that's my little cooking system right there. In this little pack here, I've just got a little you know thing to cook. Uh, I've got me gloves. Got this another little, little spare sack there to collect maybe wild edibles or something. I've got my collapsible, collapsible BCF cup. And I've got my beanie and shemag. And that's it for there. So, you know, a bit of uh, head warmth, a bit of uh, hand protection, shemag, a bit of warmth, and also, I guess, cooling or wood or pure, you know. Cleaning water, purifying water, getting the nasties out. Um, yeah, leather strop to help maintain your blade. My fishing kit and my cooking system. All fits there perfectly. Obviously my knife's in here, not in here because my knife will be on my person at all times. It won't be stored inside this bag. Okay. And along with this bag in regards to tools and that, I'd either carry my, well, I probably would carry my tomahawk, okay? And the tomahawk would simply fit on this molly strap here, it would fit right down there and hang off like that. Or I'd be carrying it or whatever. So, you know, there's a nice little molly strap there for my tomahawk to hang off there. So that's no problem. I'd have my, um, I have my Kizler T1, which is my preferred knife at the moment. So that would be my person, also with a, a fire still on it. And then finally in the back section here, uh, which is made for a water bladder, um, I have my shelter. So I have a nice large blue tarp. I mean, it's, that's, that's pretty big. I don't know the actual dimensions of it. But believe me, it's big enough to probably fit three people there and sleep very comfortable. I have a uh, nice ground sheet. This ground sheet is five by seven, so again, plenty big. And um, I have a couple of more courier satchels in here. And if you see my videos on courier satchels, you know there's there's heaps of uses for these things, man. Like heaps, signaling, collecting water, water purification. You know, blah blah blah. This goes on. Um, obviously, with this in here, I don't have the room to put a water bladder. It just simply won't fit. So, um, if I chose to go out bush with a water bladder, which I plan to do, I would take this out and probably put it in my main pack. Um, or if I know I was going for an overnighter or a two dayer, I would wrap it up with my uh, tent, you know, my sleeping system under here. So, so yeah, guys. So that's my little kit, it doesn't weigh a whole lot, you know, it's not too heavy, surprisingly. Um, obviously adding water in there, it would be adding another maybe two to three kilo. And obviously there's no food in there, except for the uh, cup of soups and stuff in the uh, mess tin. So food would basically either go in this pouch, or I'd, you know, put some in here. It's depending what I do. If it's a day hike, um, yeah, I'd stick probably some food in here there's still you know, there's still room in here to fit food around this this mess hot tin system you know I might do away with this I might just get some sort of flatter kind of system um, for example you know I might go back to this just a little flat rectangular system which you know would save heaps of room I mean you can see that in there compared to 
that in there, you know. So you know, I might switch out and go to this little simple, lightweight and smaller system, or carry that. It just depends. At the moment, I'm going to rock with that. Uh, more so for an overnighter, um, a two-dayer, maybe a two-nighter. If I'm going for a day trip, yeah, I'll probably just chuck this in there. It gives me uh, less weight, first of all, and more room. And then I'll just put my food all around here. And if I want to bring a lot of food, you know, in case I want to do a nice bushcraft breakfast video or whatever, then I'll simply grab this out and just pack this up with food and... Obviously hiking in would be a little bit heavy, but hiking out would be lighter because they would be empty. So, that's it fellas, that's my um, day hike slash overnighter slash two nighter bag. And, uh, mate, I reckon it's pretty big for, for Australian conditions anyway, because it doesn't get that cold here. Even in winter, it'll get cold, but it won't get that cold where you will freeze to death. As long as you've got a fire, and as long as it's got shelter protected from the rain, you're not going to be in snow, you're not going to be in ice, you're just going to be in frosty, ground, cold weather. Um, so we don't have to worry about that uh, extreme cold weather that American cops or the UK cops or whatever. We're, we're pretty lucky here. Um, so yeah, so that's me fellas. Cheers, happy like it.